Hello everyone and welcome to an extremely wild game that was played in 2016 European Individual Championship between Daniil Dubov and Croatian Grandmaster Ante Berkic and uh, a lot of you have requ have been requesting to me to show more Dubov's games and uh, well I, I can imagine why uh, as we've seen in the uh, previous Air Things Masters uh, good things are happening in chess right now. So uh, I dug up this one, uh, it wasn't easy, uh, I'm just kidding, it was the first one that I chose, but uh, you know, uh, I'm not complaining, uh, and uh, this is the one I'm going to show you. So without further ado, let's check it out, uh, it features a very nice pause the video moment, so let's see what, what's happening here. Dubov with the white pieces opens with d4. Uh, we have knight f6, c4, we have e6, knight f3, and d5. So just a normal queen's gambit declined is on the board, and bishop to g5. Uh, so just pinning that knight, and here bishop to b4, the Vienna variation. Uh, comes with check, uh, Dubov blocks check, and now h6, challenging white's uh, dark square bishop. So bishop goes back, and now even g5. Bishop back to g3, and now knight to e4. And now uh, the bishop on g3 is being pressured, and also there's a double attack on the knight on c3, so Dubov needs to defend that knight. So queen to c2. And now even h5, preparing to trap the bishop with h4. So uh, h3, uh, but now by playing h3 you've somewhat weakened the g3 square. And of course now black can just capture and will force white to mess up his pawn structure. So this is exactly what uh, Berkic uh, did. Uh, now there is also a known game uh, actually from the FIDE candidates tournament 2018 between uh, Grishuk and Mamedyarov that ended in a draw knight to c6 was played here. But here uh, we have bishop captures on c3 and it is as of move 9 that we have a completely new game, or as this is a game from 2016, this position has never been reached again. Uh, we have B captures and now uh, Berkic captures on G3, so Knight captures on G3, F captures and now Knight to C6, uh, continuing development. And Dubov now finally strikes in the center with e4. So Dubov's uh, king side and queen side are somewhat shattered, uh, but it's nothing, uh, nothing too big to worry about. He can play king f2, bishop d3, bring the rook into the game, and if he wants, he can even castle artificially. So d captures on e4, queen captures, and now queen to d6. And here, uh, of course, uh, going after that g3 pawn, Dubov defends it, but he wanted to play king to f2 anyway. So, uh, you know, all, all works out. Uh, bishop to d7, black is preparing to castle queen side, and now even c5. Asking black, do you want to trade queens maybe with queen to d5, or do you want to go back? Which means your queen will be uh, somewhat less active. So queen back to e7 was played, and now rook to b1. Uh, asking, are you castling queen side or not, or are you gonna try and defend this some other way? Uh, and here, Berkic said, uh, "All right, we're gonna we're gonna castle queen side here. Maybe uh, a safer approach would be just to continue playing f5, attack the white queen, and only then castle." Uh, but okay, who who can know such things? We have castles queen side, and now there is a bit of a problem here with the queen on e4. Maybe that's why uh, f maybe f5 first kick away the queen and then castle queen side. Uh, with castling queen side right away, uh, we can see that the queen and rook are putting a lot of pressure on this uh, pawn on b7 here. Uh, and Dubov's next move is very very uh, obvious. Uh, it's uh, knight to e5. So the knight, of course, cannot be captured because it's checkmate. Queen captures on b7 will be checkmate. So black needs to decide how to how to deal with this. Black plays f5 now, but now it's a bit different because the knight vacated the f3 square for the white queen. So queen back to f3, and now comes g4. And uh, okay, now it makes sense. You want to push back the white queen, capture the knight on e5, and then black will have an excellent position. Black will play uh, bishop to c6, and his position will be impenetrable uh, even. Uh, but there's a problem here because black's position is completely lost now. We've reached the position from the thumbnail, so feel free to pause the video and uh, win this game for Dubov while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations, you must really, really enjoy the opera. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it's uh, bishop to a6. This is what the Dubov played, and now there is nothing left for black to do here. Uh, it, even if you don't capture the queen, there actually isn't a move that you can play here, uh, because uh, <laughs> n nothing works. Uh, wh wh what will you play here? You cannot move the knight, like something like knight a5, maybe to, to guard b7, because there's a triple attack on b7 now. You're, you're still losing this. Captures, and after the king moves, there's bishop a6 check, and now the king has nowhere to go. It's check from the rook. You'd have to block that, and then it's just checkmate. 
So uh, not capturing the queen is out of the option, uh, but capturing the queen also doesn't really work. But you have to play something or you have to resign. That's how chess works. So Berkic captured the queen and now comes uh, uh, a lot of windmill action. Uh, so bishop captures on b7 with check. King to b8, and now you can choose uh, wherever you wherever you place the bishop, it's going to be checked to the black king from the rook. So Dubov starts by picking up the knight. Bishop captures on c6 with check. Uh, only move king to c8 as uh, it's check and the king has nowhere to go. So king c8, and now again, bishop to b7 check. Dubov now wants to get rid of the f3 pawn, but also with check, so uh, he doesn't waste time. King b8, bishop captures on f3, again with check from the rook. King to c8. Uh, and now again, bishop to b7 with check. King to b8 and now bishop to c6 with check. King to c8 and now Dubov finishes the game in great style. Here Dubov played rook to b2. Uh, and it was in this position that Ante Brkic resigned the game as there is nothing more to be done here. Uh, you could capture the bishop, of course, but if you capture the bishop, uh, white doesn't even recapture. White just goes rook h to b1, and there is no defense against rook to b8 checkmate. The knight covers the, d the d7 square, and there's nothing you can do. You can't uh, make any breeding room for the king. Uh, you cannot move the king. Even moving the rook is just mate in one, so that doesn't work. Uh, there's nothing to, to be done here. Uh, 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 you don't have to capture the bishop, okay? You could play something else. Maybe you could play rook d to f8, making room for the king. Now, if, for example, rook to b1, the king can start running away, and then you have the c8 square free for your bishop, so you can do that. But here, white just plays bishop captures on d7 with check. And now, again, if you go here, it's checkmate, so you have to uh, capture this with the queen, but it doesn't help. Just rook h to b1, again, threatening checkmate. And even if you play king d8, you're going to get rook rook to b8 with check, king e7, and now even the rook captures on f8, completely winning. Uh, if king captures, of course, you pick up the queen with check. And interestingly, if the rook captures, you don't even have to capture the queen, you can play knight g6 check. Attack the king and the rook, uh, and uh, that's, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> not the knight g6 check, um, uh, uh, knight g6 check in this position, uh, sorry. Uh, this is what I uh, this is what I wanted to do. A rook captures on f8, and now uh, there's nothing you ha <laughs> there's nothing for you to do because the queen is hanging, and now you have to move the queen. Otherwise, if you if you capture this, then white can obviously just capture the queen. Uh, so black would have to move the queen, and now comes. Uh, knight to g6 with check uh, as it uh, also attacks the black rook checks the king and defends the white rook and now finally after king to d7 you can capture the rook but you don't have to you can just play rook to f7 check king to c6 and now even this knight checks uh picks up the queen so there's nothing nothing for you to do here or or you could go up the board but if you go up the board it's nothing better if you go here it's still uh, a nice fork so again you're gonna lose the queen and of course if you go here then it's mate in one again rook to b8 will be checkmate so sorry i messed up the variation a little bit there but uh, you you uh, you got what i was talking about uh, so yeah, after rook to b2, none of this actually happened over the board on, on rook to b2 on move 26. Berkic resigned the game and uh, an excellent victory for Daniel Dubov in the European Individual Championship 2016. Uh, I think he won 8 or 9 place. Uh, 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 if you guys are interested, I can even check. Let me just check that for a second. There we go. Uh... Oh, no, 10th place. He won 10th place uh, with 7.5 points. And the first place was won by Ernesto in Kiev with 9 out of 11. Uh, so, yeah, uh, there you have it. If, you, if you'd like uh, some more uh, Dubov games, uh, feel free to comment uh, in, in the you know comment section. I'm going to check them out. And, of course, if you have any other suggestions, use, use hashtag suggestion. And I'm going to check out that game as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, really wonderful stuff. Uh, truly a night at the opera that Bishop Day 6 was really, really brilliant. Really enjoyed that. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, I would like to thank David Kimura, Ran Barak Betito, Santos Kulkarni, Branislav Georgievich, and Mark, uh, Mark Davison for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you soon. Uh, continuing the coverage of the Morphe Saga, checking up on your wonderful suggestions, and whatever else, ha whatever else happens in the chess world, uh, the Tata Steel Chess Tournament starts uh, on the 15th. Uh, thank you all, I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.